I'm Tasha Withers and I'm a realtor at Keller Williams Realty in Bothell. And before being a realtor, I worked as an occupational therapist for 20 years. I uh, was qualified in South Africa and I worked in California and here in the area of injury prevention and injury um, treatment of workplace injuries. So I've worked for companies here, Costco, General Dynamics, and worked at IBM, helping people not only at their desk setups, but also in the production lines. So I'd like to share with you some of the common things that people, now a lot of people are working from home, and my friends and family have been asking me why their hands are tingling and numb, or they're having pain at the wrist or at the shoulders. Some people are working pushed back like this, and they do it because they can put something in front of their keyboard. This is a really bad way to lean on the edge of the desk because the sharp edge of the desk is going to put pressure on the ulnar nerve, which will lead to pain and tingling in your hands. So this set setup also puts a lot of pressure around the shoulder where the nerves and arteries come through the shoulder. Um, you want to make sure that you open up here, open up at the wrist and open up at the elbow for the arteries and nerves to have good function. So pull your keyboard close to you, almost over the edge if you have this kind of wrist rest like my keyboard. Bring your mouse close and you're going to be working in a semicircle with your mouse within reach, with your elbow in your side so that you're not reaching far to your mouse. So you want to have your keyboard close, your mouse close, and then set up your, your chair. You want to a good chair has an adjustable armrest. And you can play with it down and up until you have a nice relaxed position of your shoulder. Not hiked up and not leaning down, but just relaxed. And then you want to make sure that you are leaning back on your chair because in that way you can have your ear in line with your shoulder. You want to avoid a head forward position that puts a lot of strain on your neck and shoulder muscles which will leave you having aching muscles at the end of the day. But if your head is back, all these muscles are relaxed and you are relaxed over here and open so that the blood can flow through to your hands. So you're leaning back on your chair, your head is nicely back and you're floating over the keyboard trying to keep your wrist up like a piano player. If any of you had that in your early childhood, you had to balance a coin on your hand to keep your hand up. So in that way you want to make sure that you're keeping this neutral. The most neutral position of your wrist is actually this position and a lot of people like engineers that are very mouse dominated in their work, they might want to change their input devices every week. Use a different one so that you're getting different use of your muscles. So we've spoken about the keyboard position, the mouse position, and then make sure your monitor is not too far from you. About an arm's length, mine could come forward a little, uh, is good because then you are not leaning forward to look at your work. You want to be leaning back and having your head nice and straight up. So I'm just going to go through a couple of stretches and these are good to do every half hour or every hour during the day. Hold back on your fingers. Hold it for a count of 10. Curl your fingers and your wrist forward. Press it gently and hold for a count of 10. Do a couple circles of your shoulders. Pull your arms back and lean, arch your back and look up to stretch in the opposite direction to sitting all day. Hold it for a count of 10. And then move your neck side to side. You can also turn your body to stretch your back. And then get up and have a little walk so that you can get the blood flowing through your body. I would love to help you if you have any pain or discomfort working from home. We can do a FaceTime meeting together and you can show me your workstation. I can help you uh, redesign it and give you advice um, on any muscle ache. If you are having issues, of course your doctor is the best person to consult. 
and if any of the stretches I showed you really hurt, please consult your doctor. Thank you for watching. I'd love to help you.